Dear graduates, you have traveled the amazing journey from insecure freshman to novice nurse. And now you are joining the ranks of the almost 4 million nurses in the United States. Your faculty and I could not be more proud of your accomplishments. Not only have you persevered through a rigorous curriculum, you have provided service to the community in many ways. Scholars and Scrubs, the PALS program, assisting in food pantries, and caring for all our fuzzy friends. Take all you've learned here and use it to provide compassionate, high quality care to all of your patients. Welcome to the wonderful profession of nursing. Before I announce the student awards for the class of 2020, I would like to share some other good news. Earlier today, the School of Nursing faculty presented the DAISY Award to Dr. Linda Kelly, honoring her for all that she does for our students, our colleagues, and our community. I've been asked to represent the American Nurses Association New York. Annually, they recognize the future nurse leader at each of the schools of nursing in New York State. The recipient has demonstrated exemplary student leadership among peers in the academic setting and in the community. The student has made a significant contribution to the overall excellence of the school. I am happy to present the ANA New York Future Nurse Leader Award to Shannon Cristiano. Congratulations, Shannon. The first award from the School of Nursing is the Clinical Excellence Award. This award is presented to the graduating senior who has demonstrated outstanding growth in clinical nursing practice in a variety of clinical settings. The recipient of this year's award has demonstrated consistently high performance in clinical practice. I am pleased to present this award to Erica Sittler and Jessica Koch. Congratulations, Erica and Jessica. The second award announced today is the School of Nursing Leadership Award. This award is presented to the graduating senior who has demonstrated outstanding leadership among his or her peers. The recipient of this year's award is Vanessa Maza. Congratulations, Vanessa. The next award is the Perseverance Award. This award is chosen by the graduating class and is presented to the person who has demonstrated perseverance and a cheerful continuing commitment to the study of nursing during matriculation at the Mount. I am pleased to announce that this year's Perseverance Award goes to Haley Cool. Congratulations, Haley. The General Excellence Award goes to the graduating senior who has consistently demonstrated a high level of academic work and outstanding growth in clinical competence while progressing from one nursing course to the next. This year's award goes to Soleil Bent. Congratulations, Soleil. The Spirit of Nursing Award is presented to the graduating senior who best personifies the spirit of nursing. The recipient of this award has demonstrated leadership, a good academic record, an excellent clinical performance, community service, and a caring demeanor. I am pleased to present this year's Spirit of Nursing Award to Amanda Crome and Jennifer Turchi. Congratulations, Amanda and Jennifer. And now Dr. Hurley will present the award from Sigma. On behalf of the Mu Epsilon Chapter of Sigma Theta Tau International Society of Nursing, I am pleased to present our chapter award. This is given to the undergraduate student that has demonstrated scholarship, professionalism, emerging leadership qualities, and has integrated evidence-based research throughout the curriculum by meeting the following criteria consistently has demonstrated scholarly work in all undergraduate nursing courses. Performance in all clinical settings has been recognized as providing safe care with respectful interactions between patients, clinical faculty, clinical staff, and peers. 
demonstrated leadership abilities through their involvement in campus and community service activities has demonstrated a professional commitment to promoting the health of others through evidence-based research assignments. The recipient of this award has also conducted research with Dr. James Moran in the science division on the immunosimulatory capacity of oxyvita blood substitute. It was found that blood substitutes had the potential to stimulate innate and adaptive immune responses. I am pleased to present this award to Emily Leith. Congratulations, Emily. And now we'll hear from Father Greg. can't be with you today. I wish I could. I wish we could all be together, but I have to mark your pinning. I want to congratulate you. It's been such an honor to get to, so, to know so many of you, the class of 2020. And while I can't be with you, we can't be together, I can at least offer you this blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he bless your nursing pins, and may you be true and real instruments of healing. May he keep you safe and keep you in his joy this day and every day. In his name we pray. Amen. Thank you.